good afternoon. I'm Kill the Vet. I'm your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm doing a special gameplay stream preview of Life is Strange from Square Enix. Now, this is a game that is actually story driven and a choices matter novel style presentation. I actually found this game off the of stream and I assume it's on other platforms under Square Enix. So we're gonna do a little test. And always with me, I like looking into unique titles, especially they're getting such of a buzz and they're ready accessible. So let's you didn't this. tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a you always Welcome to the real cute. world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. So it has kind of like a modern, postmodern, college age type of storyline. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. This is meant for mature audiences, not for children. And it has an M rating. She's so fucking shy. Yep, there you go. You just heard profane language. And it's from Don't Nod Entertainment. That's the developer. Where Square Enix is the publisher. There's a difference. Now, of course, the music has been turned off so I can avoid copyright strikes with YouTube and Twitch because normally the music will be playing so this is Life is Strange episode 1 Chrysalis or Chrysalis or Chrysalis which of course is the stage of what a caterpillar goes from you know changes into a butterfly it's the uh, Evan doesn't say much to me uh, but it's kind of the his photos are very cool stage of a caterpillar Till they're transitioning to a butterfly. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. So the character you're playing at is playing at is is Max. That's Dana talking to I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I have to say I'm overall impressed with the style of gameplay. It's unlike anything I've ever played. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. <laughs> I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Like, I've played games such as Heavy Rain from Quantum Dream. It looks like she's been gone for months. And then there's other titles such as Detroit Become Human. I wish October would last forever. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. So it's like the character has these observational what do you call it Mon there's Juliet from my dorm yet another voice. vortex club disciple figures Juliet would be dating Zachary jocks sucked up in the vortex club these missing persons posters are popping up everywhere empty good nobody can see my meltdown Except for me. <sighs> so this is actually an adventure, story-driven mystery, psychological horror type game. Now who would bother to write that crap? And it's like I said, the tag is Choices Matter. Obviously, multiple endings. 
The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? I like the fact that you get to control her character in this game. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. All seen, I Illuminati. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. This one of these weird unisex bathrooms. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I, like I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing oh, around shit. with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Shit just got real. Look at that. Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I an actually did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. That was trippy. Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her. Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and when children. I took still the same stupid picture. Tortured, right? So everything the seems the same tortured. as before. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, Damn it. though, everything is I the could same. Any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And Browser, my old broken camera is new again. Isn't that too easy? 
too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of- Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom Once quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype...